obviously you train and you feel good and you, and you that's you know I train to try to get through the season because when it is season you can you can not it's hard to train it's it's hard to get on your road bike hard to get in the gym so um, I think without knowing you do get you do get weaker it does weigh you down yeah. Straight after the season, i.e. Like end, of, end of September, it, it involves a lot of socialising and catching up on catching up on good friends and a few trips down the pub or whatever. But um, mainly, like this, this, but this is the first off season where I haven't been injured. Touch wood. So I've just been trying to ride my bike as much as I can and just have as much fun as I can on my bike still, which is kind of no different to how the season goes really. So it's had the most amazing time ever. Um, you know, there's not really one. There's not really one person really, but there's uh, we've got a whole, whole amazing group of friends. You know, it depends if I go riding motocross. I have a different group of friends who ride cross country or dirt jumps. You know, it's like kind of like three different groups there. But uh, obviously, my brother's brother's always around to ride everything. Um, you know, we've got some got some great friends around here. So uh, yeah, we're not we're not struggling for people to ride with it, which is cool. end of September comes, uh, downhill bike gets hung up and there's definitely not, not a great deal of downhill, downhill riding to be done until, until probably end of February really for me. I just, I just ride a lot of dirt jumps, we're fortunate enough to have some sand sand trails around here, a lot of motocross, try to get out there twice a week and um, yeah, cross country is pretty, pretty much it in the off season.
you're gonna kind of get your priorities right pretty early on, just to say you don't waste half your life trying to do something that's not gonna work out. But uh, well, I'm I'm in this to, to ride my bike and win races. My name's Rich Thomas, I'm 24, I'm from Western Superman. No, you know, it's what it's what I know, you know, it's how I do it. And, you know, you have all these people on factory teams and then obscene amounts of money for what they do. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm in such a good place and, you know, every time I do well, yeah, I'm not like a, you know, a top 10 rider, a World Cup rider, but, you know, I, I'm still working towards that and I may well be one day being able to have a job at the same time. You know, it's just more for everyone else, you know. I need to step up again because I can do that. I've got a job as well. No, you know, because downhill is not a long season, is it? So you kind of have, you know, a good time to, to rest and recuperate and then just go at it for the summer, so it's not that bad really at all. Like I've got myself like into a really sustainable way of life really now. Like I work during the winters and, you know, to with money to live and to put towards racing during the summer and um yeah, I love it. I've got in a real good, you know, routine with everything every you know, year in, year out. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty lucky really. It's so sick, like I was listening to his interview and all the things he was saying and I can literally remember when I was that age and you know, you know, not that I've still got the dream of you know, becoming the best now, like then I really was like, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And, you know, it's so great to see you know these big teams taking on people like Taylor because I never really got a big opportunity when I was younger. No, I've maybe not been to the same level that Taylor was when I was younger, but you know, it was at that point where he is now, where I had that bad injury, and it kind of that sent me off the way I go now, like the way I've been now with work and you know education. I hope Tay keeps his head screwed on, and I, I wish him all the best. And I think, like I've said for years now, that he's in the next best thing. So you know, I spot him first. I started racing as a young age, like motocross, I was five years old. I raced like all the schoolboy clubs, championships, and then I went up to British Championships and then managed to uh, have the opportunity to race the World Minis back in 2005 in Belgium. Then, like, just was over with motocross a bit and then just made the decision to race downhill. Like, dad got a bike shop and just all kicked off from there. Really. 2013 is going to be my first full season doing World Cups. Like it's going to be like my first or second time racing abroad. It's just going to be a massive learning curve, and can't wait to explore new tracks and see what World Cup tracks are really like. It's just going to be a big experience, ready for next year and years to come, hopefully. <laughs> Season consists of training, like riding, just doing whatever I can to prepare to race fast and to win races. Like also get a break and I ride all sorts of bikes during the winter, like road, cross country, moto. It's all a good mix up, it's all good fun man, I love it.
same as most other people, just go back to being a 24 year old, you know, drink a lot and have fun with my friends, go out, have like a good two month binge, eat a lot of shit food, you know, just enjoy the winter. I don't really ride all that much, I think this year I put my bike away after the last BDS and didn't get it cleaned or out of the shed for two months, so yeah, I had a proper good off season this year and just ride my motorbike a little bit actually. Uh, we're up pretty damn early. We're riding this hip jump, which we came to last night, preferably for a sunset shoot, but uh, it was way too windy, it was pretty so we're going to shoot it this morning. But it looks sick, there's an awesome sunrise, so. And it's so calm and no wind, so we're going to have a good time here, I think, this morning instead. Spain was sick, like it was so new to me, the type of riding, it was dusty, rocky, steep, mellow, there's such a variety there, but it all quite different just because of, I guess that's how Spanish trails are, but the, uh, the atmosphere is awesome, everyone out there was really stoked to be riding. It's horrible, like the snow, which is fun, until it doesn't go away, and the riding just sort of comes to a halt with the cold temperatures. So Spain, while it was hot, there's big tracks. We stay in a place called Roost where they just drive you up the uplifts, get loads of runs done in a day, in your t-shirt, ride dirt jumps without a t-shirt. Like, it's just, it's a no-brainer. Just get out there in the heat and ride some downhill and some dirt jumps. We both dirt jumped, we both downhill, we both rode downhill and I don't really know where and how we split but off we went. He did his dirt jumps, loving that. I really enjoyed downhill so we started competing in those different disciplines and yeah, loving it how it is now. We've always done stuff together really and it's not a case of who started first, it's just we just started together. We both got bikes, we both were riding up and down the lane with them, just mum says that I did an endo front flip one day, Matt probably did it as well, but that's all I know, I mean, I don't remember it, but whatever I did, he did too, and we're riding, we both just started together, and we're still doing it together. 
saturate us to the bone Inside every home They got you all alone And they got your kids home The prison in the street Is identical to slavery Look at the ratio It's not a mathematical mystery I look for a glimpse Of a future where an inch Away from disaster It's a pinch And we only moving faster Towards the end And the master Will fulfill his task But it's us who holds the answer But we only interested In self-preservation A media-driven Blind And we go karting tonight and it's so much fun, like, I think my back is going to be bruised in the morning, it's so rough, I've been pushed up the track by Rich Thomas, um, my brother is just, we know it, never see him, he's so slow, Mark, Scott is pain in all of us, the brake light doesn't work so I don't actually think he's breaking, and it's just the best fun ever. And uh, it's pretty cool living here, like, it's really quiet, quite old, we've got, like, some woods right next to us which is good. Me and Matt used to play in there all the time, trying to catch rabbits and stuff. And um, yeah, then we got introduced to bikes and sort of went from there. Like we've got woven sands like jumps right near us and we rode there for years. It's really cool, like it's quite short tracks. So for downhill it's not the best, but the dirt jumps there are amazing. I mean. What's it like having twins? Well, it's pretty full on. It's been full on since the day they were born and uh, hasn't really let up since. I mean, Matt spends most of his time, if he's not on his bike, he's building at Woburn, building terrific tracks. And it just means they get the opportunity to try so much. And I think it shows what they've achieved, really. So for my training, there's not really any fitness based training, that's not something I do and it might help me in the future but at the moment that's just really digging and riding as much as I can. Uh, for tricks and all, all the skill related training I just ride as much as I can on dirt jumps, downhill, the new training compound I'm working on, it's all helping to get tricks get down and like landing them as much as I can and then taking them further onto all different styles of jumps, I travel as much as I can within the UK to all the different trail spots which really helps because it's just it's just transferring my skills everywhere so that if I do a contest I really want to feel like I've, I've ridden a similar jump before and that I, I feel ready so the variety is really key for me and that's just riding. Rejecting common sense which illuminates the habit So we just stand with both hands open wide Ready for the poison that they shouldn't come with pride Ready to impress the ever-present neighbor's eyes And ready to ingest with confidence these wicked lies But we still sit with both hands open wide Ready for the poison that they shouldn't come with pride Ready to impress the ever-present neighbor's eyes And ready to ingest with confidence these wicked lies I see the way Radnor Forest, uh, Mid Wales, I think. Actually, I'm not sure where it is. Yeah, little secret track we got. Pretty cool. There's some nice slowy turns, and uh, it's only short, but it's good fun.
Today we are at Revolution Bike Park doing some runs of the newly formed kind of bike parky downhill mixture track thing. The tracks here are kind of steep, slippy, rocky. We've got some it's kind of a bit of a jump track on the one side, which is pretty cool. A bit like a mini whistler in places. It's got a bit of everything really. It was nice to finish uh, finish well at the end of the year and I kind of <clears throat> took a few months off, had a holiday with a girlfriend and uh, kind of refreshed my, uh, my drive to almost start racing again and start training again. I was, I was a bit burnt out at the end of last year so kind of, uh, yeah, a few months off, started getting back in the gym just before Christmas and build some, some good strength there and then obviously uh, the last few months we've been, we've been over to Spain, did a bit of riding over there, got the new bikes, got the new kit. And uh, just excited now to get to Fort William for the first World Cup and to see uh, how the hard work's paid off. Today we're in, in Langolan, or Clangothlan as they call it over here. I come here quite a lot, I mean, in the past winter I've been here quite a few times. good in all weathers it's, and then my mechanic only lives an hour away so I go and stay there and come ride in here and I always say oh we should try and ride somewhere else but I enjoy it that much here and Martin lets us come ride do our own lifts and I appreciate that and yeah it's a, a great place for training. Yeah, so last year I was having a good season and uh, I podiumed Fort William, Mont Saint Anne, Wyndham. I won the national at Fort William, so I was doing really well last year and uh, I had a slight mishap at Crankworx and popped my shoulder out and that put me out for the rest of the season. So I had to miss two World Cups and World Champs, which was a tough one to swallow. <laughs>
after the season straight away of downhill. I pretty much get my motocross bike out the next weekend because I haven't rode it all season. Our local skate park has just been redone and it's really good arcade skate park in Red Car and it's what, I, I feel like it's one of the best skate parks in the country, we've got some big ramps and a good little scene we have going and uh, I really enjoy going there when there's a good group of lads. Minus the scooters, it couldn't be better really. But if this if it wasn't for the scooters then the skate park wouldn't be there. Little bastards. Yeah, I'd say I've, if someone says, oh, where have you spent your off-season, I would say at home, but I've had a few trips away, but I've been at home in Red Cab for the majority of it. I had a few weeks here and a few weeks there, and had a week in Spain, and then a week I've been to San Remo a couple of times, and then I went to America for team camp and Sea Otter and all our media stuff. So, But if somebody says, where have you been all winter, I say at home, because... It's not like I've been away for big periods of time, so I spent a bit of time in California at the Giant headquarters at our team camp and Sea Otter, you know, and just doing the stuff out there because the Americans don't get to see as much, so it's good to go out there and see all them. Juice is flowing down your vine. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at that one getting with that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that battle, Oh, man. don't post that on Facebook, oh. man. Man, imagine his girlfriend wait, saw this picture. Wait, are we filming right now? <laughs> <laughs> of my kind, a black man with some dignity when he be spitting these rhymes, now here's the real most cats is fake, they first mistake was to then be what they ain't, if you'd have been who you really were, you would have been great, but you were scared of facing your fate, now you're second rate, that's throws in Spanish, it's bug how your fools have managed to do such damage, and I can't stand it, I'm about to flip so let it flow, on the real short views about to blow, yeah I got a green light, I'm good to go, hit the track, fall back and lay down low, I'm about to Rose in the east as I set in the west, fight to the death, throw blows till the snow falls left. 
quiet as kept by preppers you slept Dug to a deeper depth is Hit me home. my enemy's rep I'm more than a man, I'm an idea that kept it real Spoke to the hearts of the people and I said what they feel It's really real, it's beyond fame or a record deal It's fate, the fire Hit that makes home. a sword from steel Listen, and my all is a blessing I approve this message, I approve with no question Greatness manifesting, fuck a stay with the hate Steady testing and stressing uh, I'ma be great and granted, damn it, I'm doing what's destined hey. I'ma pause you call, so I fought you all It's sort of slick how quick the mighty dog fall A wolf in sheep clothing and despite my flaws you little pussycat, you ain't got the claws or the claws for real Then maybe in the end, I might even be the cheese Know what I'm saying? Yeah I'm good to go, hit the track, fall back and lay them low D-Bow, I'm a kid, 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 D-Bow, i am a kid d bow 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 i am a kid d